What's up, YouTube? My name is Genius, bringing you guys part 4 of my 100% playthrough on The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Before this video even starts, yo, why don't you guys scroll down a little bit, click that like button for me, it only takes a second of your time, and if you're not subscribed already, please do so. Also, guys, follow me on Twitch at Genius25, I stream every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday for you guys, so follow me there, turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my live streams. So guys, in the last episode, we actually saved Bow Wow the Chain Chomp. Look at him, he's just chilling right here, and we actually made our way to the Gapanga Swamp. Check out our map right now, guys. We are just cruising along. We got a lot unlocked, but we still have so much to do in this game. But guys, this episode, we're actually going to be taking on our second dungeon, which is the Bottle Grotto. So let's ho hop in here. Let's go. Come on, baby. What we got? Come on. I'm so excited for this one. We actually lose Chain Chomp. This is the Bottle Grotto. So as you can see, we got these little, like, pots and everything everything it says oof this looks heavier than heavy your current strength won't cut it so we obviously it's telling us we need something to be able to lift these but if you come over here and you grab your magic powder you can throw it in these flames and light up these little places and actually unlock these little doors and all that we make our way in here we got these skeletons we actually have a new skeleton look at this boy what's up get one this guy does like a slam attack and all that which is just crazy right now but after defeating him he actually drops us a nice beautiful shiny small key we can actually pick up and keep moving along here so if we keep moving along right we got this little like building all over here we can actually hit that switch right there which actually opens up these little pillars but switches the color we can open this one and grab ourselves this chest real quick but we gotta whomp on this fool real quick hit this wait for him to swing at us it opens him up and then we can whack him switch the switch one more time and bang get another small key for this dungeon so, let me just look at the map real quick. Since we have the compass, we can see, like, where chests and stuff are at. But we're actually going to head down in here. Yeah, we're going to head down right. And now, we'll make our way this way for right now and just keep exploring the dungeon. But right here, we can actually do grab a rock's feather and do a little hop here. Hop over here again. Hop over here one more time. Hit this switch, and the chest will actually drop right in front of us. But before we actually hop over and grab that chest, we're going to swing, hit this switch, and move this way. What we got in here? Boom! Another small key. We are racking them up right now. And now we keep moving on with this dungeon. But I actually want to go here. No! <laughs> we hopped down. We missed our jump. Now we keep moving along here. We got new enemies. They're shy guys. Look at them. We actually have to like get them. They actually move in our direction. So if we face this way, they're going to face that way. So in order to get them, we have to get them in their backs. So we have to like figure these boys out. Spin attacks. Spin attacks work. I got it. I got it. There you go. Turn around, get the spin attacks, and get them right in the back. Beautiful. That's a cool little concept. I like that one actually a lot. So, guys, after taking out the shot, guys, we're actually going to want to start heading back towards this way. We're going to want to hop here, back here, back here, and hit this switch. And now we can make our way back to where we actually came in at. Because if we go around this other side, we grab this small key. And there's actually, we can head back and go through another small key door. But we're actually going to grab this real quick. And then we're just going to make our way this way. Head back here because there was a key. Well, a, yeah, a small key door, but we cannot make our way through here unless we hit a switch again. So we gotta hit this one. Wah bam! There we go. And now we can make our way down here and open up this key door right here. We still need the dungeon map, which will be huge for us right now. But we got this little uh, this boy right here. What you want? We're gonna turn our backs here, move closer, give him a little spin around shot, and bang, take out the enemy for this room and grab ourselves another chest. So, like, most rooms have chests. You just gotta destroy a lot of, like, all the enemies in the room. And bang, we get ourselves the compass. See, dude, why do I keep thinking we have things when we don't have them? But there we go. We grab ourselves the compass, which shows us all the chests in this dungeon. And look at it. That's how big this dungeon is. It's a decent size. But we got one right in the front room that we cannot get. So, we're just gonna have to keep moving along here. Keep moving, moving here. And we got these skeletons that respawn. What's up? Get out of my face. Get out of my face, dude. We can grab ourselves another heart. We got three small keys. We are cooking along here. We're cooking, baby. Yo, what you want? Yo, that thing's scared me. Get out of here. Can we hop over this thing? No, we cannot. That's bogus, man. That is bogus. So now we're going to have to come back here and start making our way back to this little section that we walked away from earlier. We can just do a little rocks feather hop over here. There we go. We got these shot guys again. Charge up our spin attack. Eat them up. They can't handle it. They don't even hurt you. They're just a little challenge. We got these spinies. You actually hit them with the shield. And then they flip on their backs and we give them the weapons. Come here, boy. What you want? What you want? Get over here. Got a chest for me? No chests here or anything. But we do have a couple small keys. So we can actually just unlock this door real quick. And start heading inside. What we have next is actually... I see we got these keys and all that. So 
If you don't really know what to do in a room, start destroying all the enemies first because it usually opens up something. And we got ourselves a Guardian Acorn, which doubles our defense. But as you can see, since we destroyed all the enemies, we didn't get anything. But you can see these two little pillars. We can actually, I believe we can push them onto the path right here. There we go. And once you push both of these, they will open up a, a chest or a secret path, I believe. Something. Yes, a secret path that goes underground, which is just awesome. Now we can start making our way this way, and bang, dude. Dude, this game, I've been having too much fun with. We got a rock's feather, dude. This game gets better and better each episode. Like, dude, this dungeon's so much better than the first one. Like, come on, yo. Having so much fun. That's a little 2D section. Climbing up the ladder. Ya yeet, baby. Ya yeet. Jump over here. We get this heart. We can actually jump over here. Use our magic powder to light this. There's lamps. Take a hit, I guess. And we're gonna light this one, too. Light up the whole floor. And we're gonna head over here and just put our body inside this door and it'll flip us around like that. And we got our mini boss for this dungeon. It's a big, like, one-eyed Cyclops, dude. He's gonna throw bombs at us and everything. We gotta actually just start swinging at him and he grips us up and starts slamming on us. So we can jump and, like, hit him in the face and stuff. He's coming for us. What's up? What you want, fool? If you actually jump with Rock's Feather and then start hitting B in the air, you actually start swinging. So we're just gonna keep whapping on him. Dude, look at him. He just takes us and yeets us. He's like, get out of my face. Keep whacking him, and he doesn't take that many hits. Look at that. We already murked on him. But after he dies, he's gonna drop us a nice, wonderful fairy that will replenish our hearts and give us a little, like, halfway point right here. Can I have you, fairy? There we go. So now we get the fairy, and we can move over to this door right her. Right her. So what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna hop across here because it's the only way we can go right now. Wreck on this little keys. Hop this way, and now what are we gonna do? Um, we're gonna go through this door right here. We got ourselves a wonderful chest, but we gotta watch out. We got this little suction thing right here that sucks you in. So if you just hold to the right, we'll be good. And we obtained the dungeon map, which is also now we can see all the rooms and all the chests. So if we give it a quick peek, we can see we can head up here and do all this right here. There's actually a key door right here that we're gonna have to do in the beginning of the room, but. We're actually gonna do this right now, because if we actually, since we grabbed the dungeon map, we can see back. So we're gonna come back this way. Yeet. Give it a quick hop. Another quick hop. And once again, another quick hop. And we make our way back here, and we're gonna go in this portal and travel back to the beginning. So now we can take this portal from the front room to here, and from that room to here. So now that we made it here, we can just make a left this time. Simple, we got two small keys. We can open up this door. And start battling. Oh, those things clamped on me. Start taking out these keys and all that. You actually don't have to light the lamps to unlock the doors and all that. Oh, dude, we got another hit. We can hop this way. Oh, our boy knocked us off. What you want? Get out of here. And now we can open up this chest and get the stone beak. So the stone beak is in every single dungeon, I believe. You just put it in one of the birds and all that. And they'll give you, like, little clues of, like, what to do. It's pretty cool. It's a nice little touch, but we just gotta watch out for these things. Fake them out real quick. Do a little spin around. Get out of my face, dog. Yo, let's go. We're gonna head back to the front room now and just teleport back over here. And then we're gonna check our map once we get there. Ben -a -ben -a -ben -a -ben -a -ben. Look at that nice little spin. All right, let's check our map out, see what we gotta do. So we're right here. We got this chest. We cannot obtain this chest yet because we need something to get the pots out of the way. So we're just gonna head up here and keep making our way over here. Now let's get it get it use rocks feathers once again dude rocks feathers sick because like most like legend of zelda games you can't really jump in like all the older ones there's no jumping but like rocks feather like allows you to jump which is cool you make our way over here we got extra powder right there there's a 10 bag of powder which we'll grab in just a second but we can grab this rupee you got 20 rupees joy yes and now we can get out my face bats use our last small key to open up this door and see what's in here we got booze look at this guys so, what we gotta do against booze, I love how they added all these Mario enemies, it's hilarious. We gotta bring them towards light, and actually start slapping on them. <laughs> but it's so cool how they added all different Mario enemies, like, it's just, I don't know, it's just cool. But we obtained this chest, and what's inside of it? The item for the dungeon, which is the power bracelet. At last, you can pick up pots and stones, which is just wonderful. Now we are strong enough. This isn't an item we have to equip, I believe, yes. It is just in our inventory, like, in general. Now we can always pick up these heavy items now. Any rocks outside here, we can actually start smacking on them. But let me check the map out. Let's see what we gotta do. We gotta head this way and all that. But before we even do that, we gotta head back to the beginning. Once again, we're just gonna eat on over here. Run this way. Because there is a chest all the way back at the beginning that I would rather get right now. Instead of going forward and then having to go back. Which is all good. Oh, but we can actually... Mm, 
There's there's that stairwell. We can actually make our way inside of the stairwell now, too, by lifting the pots and everything. Oh my god, guys. This game is bringing me so much joy right now. Such a good game right now. Oh, lord. But yo, guys, if you are enjoying the content right now, don't forget to smash that like button for me. Seriously, it helps out a ton. There we go. We got 50 rupees from that. But yeah, yo, you guys' likes, you guys' comments, all that helps me out so much. Grow helps me to grow as a channel. So it means a lot if you guys are doing that. So now we can actually grab these pots of pans, eat them and stuff, grab a heart. But we can head up this little floor and everything. Oh, I used one of my things. We can hop over with Rock's Feather and whoop on these Koopas. And look! They got Piranha Plants! We can actually do a Rock's Feather swing by jumping and then swinging at the same time. Get up there. Yeet. <laughs> Yo, dude, that's awesome. Now we can actually climb down here. And look at this. The, the comp is going off. Block his spear. Get out of here. Now we got these little rabbit enemies. Can we push these things? Yeah, we can push these out the way. Can we swing at these boys? They actually do not take hits from our sword. So what we gotta do in order to kill them is throw these pots at them. <laughs> Yo, dude, that's hilarious. And now by taking out all the enemies... Oh, I thought maybe there would be a, a chest involved. But I guess not. It says there's a chest in this room, right? It says it goes right there. Do we gotta push something out the way? Do we gotta push any of these? Is there a stone beak here? Hmm. How do we get this chest? How do we get this chest? Maybe we'll figure it out in a little bit. But we're actually gonna make our way up into this room. We got this little skeleton dude. <laughs> we just pinned him in the corner and ripped him apart. Get out of my face. What do you want, Buzzy Beetle? Get out of here. All right, let's hit this switch and see what's going on here. Once we hit that switch, it switches the colors right there. Oh, we got a piece of power. There we go. Now our attack is double for a little bit. Bang. Bump, 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 bump. Yep, we see the chest right there. If you actually grab a pot, Oh, man, no. We grab the pot. Eat it on over there. Rock's feather hop. We grab ourselves. Boom! Another small key, which is nice. As we're going to need it. But is there anything else down here? Let's check the mini-map. No, we got all the chests over here. This led to the other area, which is cool. We're gonna hop. Oh, my God. I gotta take out that thing. We can actually walk across this little thing now. <laughs> yeah, let me change up my inventory. Actually, no, I guess we'll keep the powder there. But by accident, I keep hitting the powder, which is annoying. But can we push any of these? But now, we can actually use this small key right here to open this door. Right here. And get moving on over here. So we got these bunnies again. Yeet! Slam them with a pot! Get out my face, yo! <laughs> I think it's so funny. We got these little rabbits who we just hucking pots at. <laughs> and we unlock a little stairway down. So now we got one of these other, like, 2D size rolling sections. Which will bring us down here. Now we gotta wait. Look, if you keep mashing down, Link looks funny. He starts, like, looking like he's glitching out. We can climb up this ladder. Make our way down here. Come here. Why? I keep doing this. Okay, so as you can tell, I think we need extra weight over here. If it was my guess. Yeah, we need extra weight in order to get off of him. We're going to slam that pot and just start climbing up this ladder. This ladder. And as you can see, there is the boss door, but we don't have the boss key. So where is the boss key? It's got to be in this room right here. Right? It's got to be in this room. Because this is the last chest that we need in this whole dungeon. Okay, so now we got to backtrack and go get that last chest, which will have the nightmare key in order for us to go... Stop it! Why do I keep doing that? Well, it's going to have the nightmare key in order for us to unlock the door. Okay. Maybe I should just change... Let's change uh, Rock's Feather to X. There we go. So hopefully... I know I'm still going to use uh, the... What's it called? <laughs> The magic powder. But here we go. We make our way into here. Now we just gotta figure this out. We're gonna shield him. Rip on you. Take out the keys. We're gonna move this. We're gonna push this one in this time. Grab ourselves a pot. And slam on this fool. Come here. Oh, we missed. <laughs> Get out of here, rabbit. What? Where's my chest at? Where is it? We smash this pot too. We're respawning this bunny. I'm telling you, there's something going on here. All right, guys, let's try this again. I'm coming for you, bunny. I want the bunny dead. Come here, bunny. I don't know, like, I'm trying to figure this out. All right, bunny, coming for you. Why can't we hit the bunny? There we go. Take out the bunny. I'm gonna take out the bat. Come here, bat. Now, what's up, dog? What you want? Hopefully, like, I just don't get this. Kill him. So, how did that one work? How did that one work and not the, all the other ones? 
I am so confused. Do we have to kill him in like a certain order? I don't know. But we grab ourselves this chest and grab ourselves the nightmare key. And we can unlock the nightmare layer to go face off with the boss. But now we can check our map and see that we have collected everything in this dungeon. So the last thing to do is actually go face off against the boss. So let's get going, baby. Oh, we gotta take out this rabbit. <laughs> Are these things rabbits? I'm pretty sure they're rabbits. Ah, oh, got me! They got me! <laughs> they, those little things, they slow you down when they stick on you. But we're gonna have to wait our, waste our time here again. <laughs> Going down here. Making a run for it. And hopping up here. Let's go. Let's get it. We need a pot. We need a pot again. Grab ourselves this pot. Gives us extra weight. And we can actually go down here. Throw it. And then run under here. I can't wait to get like new different upgrades. Like I heard you can get like sword and all that, different tunics and everything. But now we can use our rocks feather to fall inside that hole now <laughs> to actually hop over here and unlock the boss door. Let's go! So guys, the second boss is right here. The door's shut. We got this little like bottle right here. We're like, what the heck is this? Stands up and our boy pops out. Our second boss. Ho ho ho! I'm your bad guy this time. Ho ho ho! This is actually the genie. So we actually got a face off against him. He's actually a pretty cool boss. He has a little cool mechanic. Look at him. He starts juggling fireballs and everything. Looks more like a clown than a genie. But he's coming out of a bottle, so don't they come out of lamps? Oh, please. Oh! He lasered us with these fireballs. So we actually got to run around and start dodging them and all that. Help get out my face. He actually hops like a bottle and everything. We're going to swing our sword and all that. And he says, oh, I can't move, but I'm still all right. Your little sword won't break this bottle. Even the walls here look tougher than that dinky thing. So guys, that's actually a hint for us to pick up this bottle and actually throw the bottle at the wall to crack it open. So, yeah, yeah, you can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. So he's just saying, like, once we break the bottle, then we can start doing damage to him. But he's gonna start juggling these fireballs once again and start hulking them at him, but we're dodging them. Get out of my face, genie. Get out of my face, genie. So it's pretty much just like a, a rinse repeat cycle. Start slapping out with the sword, pick up the bottle again. Huck it at the wall <laughs> and starts to crack it up in one more hit and we will actually open it up Come on boy get thrown yeet dodge yeet. Oh, oh, oh yeet. Oh, we got pummeled there. We got pummeled <laughs> Get out of here. Give me that bottle Break that open and this will start phase two of the boss fights. Why you 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 broke my bottle Why you you make me hopping man? <laughs> So he's gonna start splitting into two little genies right here. I'm gonna charge up my spin attack. Because when he does that, he's gonna throw his fireball and then we can start whacking him up. So just stay in the middle here and once he starts to throw the fireball, once he splits into one, we're just gonna start dodging one way. See, there comes a- oh, it's a heat seeking fireball. We can actually start whacking on him. We're running low on hearts, but it's all good. We have a berry in a bottle. So where are you at, punk? I'm gonna guess this one. Oh, it's this one. Oh my god, we're down to a heart and a half. Come on, come on. As you can tell, this boss fight is definitely a little bit harder than the last one. Yay! We stab him with the sword to finish him off. And look at him. He starts freaking out and blowing up and all that. But da but da but da Let's go, baby. And we get ourselves another full heart container, replenishing our hearts and changing our maximum hearts to six, which is awesome. Let's get it. So now we can actually head through this door and collect the instrument for this dungeon. Let's go. Look at it. This is the the conch horn. You got the conch horn. Let's go. So this is the second out of seven instruments that we need to collect. Let's go, baby. Woo! Mm -mm -mm. Beautiful once again, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. We get the power of the conch horn. It's like a trumpet, but it's a conch shell because we're on like an island and all that. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. Prairie. Prairie. So these are kind of just like hints of like what you should do next. The prairie is waiting. So in the last one, it talked about the Gapanga Swamp. Now let's talk about the prairie. So now we got to head over to the prairie. <laughs> Here we go, guys. We make our way back into the Gapanga Swamp after defeating the second dungeon, the Bottle Grotto. But guys, that is going to be it for today's episode. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. As in the next episode, we're going to be doing some side quests and then moving along with the main mission. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.